vlog hello world welcome to asia i am in taipei taiwan right now i will soon be in south korea and then japan this is my first time ever leaving the united states i got a passport about this time a year ago pretty much almost exactly and i have not used it a single time until now we will be here for pretty much 10 days i think is the time that i'm scheduled to be here so while I'm not able to vlog everything that we're doing during the day, I'm trying to get a lot of snippets of the different like cool surroundings and maybe some of the fun things that we do in our downtime for whatever downtime we might possibly have. Awaiting impending jet lag. I've never experienced jet lag before because like I said, I've never traveled internationally and I've heard it's pretty awful, but I have been up for over 24 hours. I got to the airport in Austin at like 3.30. 50 in the morning and it is now 7 p.m. in Taiwan and I essentially went forward into the future so the time zone difference freaks me out I think it's like 6 or 7 a.m. in Austin now I don't remember let's go get something to eat <laughs> like the Galleria. Oh my gosh. Say hi vlog. Oh. I'm making Covey fee. And I've never had to do this before, so John had to show me what to do. It's like a coffee drip thing. Don't pour it fast. Your, the goal is not to fill it up. You just slowly pour it. Wait, do I put it through the bag? Through the bag, in the middle, where all the stuff is. But don't, like, just dump it in there. Like, just pour a little bit, and then just wait. Yeah. Oh, that's it. back from I guess a little bit of an adventure we went to the oh gosh see I'm gonna be really bad at this because I don't even know what's going on I'm just along for the ride with a lot of this stuff but we went to a museum and then we walked around the grounds around it and there were some temple looking structures and just really cool pieces of architecture that we took pictures in front of and it was beautiful to see because I've never seen any of that stuff in real life up close I've seen it in TV shows and media social media, all the different things like that, but I've never seen a lot of that in person. And then we went and got lunch at the Taipei 101 Tower. There's a mall, it's like the Taipei 101 Mall, but there is a little food court area that's at the bottom most level. That's where we went for dinner last night. But we went back for lunch and tried a different place, so I got shrimp and rice and an assortment of other things that came with the meal. I'm excited to show you guys some of the things that I got from the little grocery store that was in the food court area. So I picked up uh, the most touristy things you can possibly think of. I picked up a shot glass that I think is pretty cute. My boyfriend and I have a little bit of a tradition where we pick up shot glasses in the different cities and states that we travel to. So I'm gonna get a shot glass in each country. And then I got this little cute keychain. It is a little boba keychain. And I wanted to get boba today because there was a boba, boba shop in the little area that we were at, but the line was too long and I was tired. And the last touristy item that I got is just a little refrigerator magnet that says 
Taiwan. We just wandered through the grocery store and picked up a couple of items. There was literally an American section. It was so funny because it saw the American junk foods. There was like goldfish and potato chips and Dr. Pepper and all of those things. And I took a picture in front of it because I just thought that was so funny and so on brand for America for all of our food to just be unhealthy and bad for you. I picked up a couple of random snacks. I don't know what any of these are. I don't know if they are popular, if they're good. I just saw the packaging and I was like, that's cute. So I got these um, ribbon biscuits and then I like sweet things as you'll see from all the items that I got. I got this pineapple jelly and then I love jelly beans. So we'll see how these end up tasting, but I got just a little package of jelly beans. And then this is a little thing that I am actually pretty excited for. There's no English on it, so I don't know what it is, but they're just like little Looks like little vanilla shortbread cookies with uh, some sort of pink filling inside. So those are the food items I got. I also got bottles of water, the types of cuisine and food that they have here. Savory dishes are all the rage and I do not eat a lot of sodium typically. And so that's actually why I don't at home eat a lot of Asian food. I like Asian food, but I just don't eat it all the time. So I'll be trying a whole bunch of different food here. Um, probably won't know what half of it is. This next one is one that I just bought in the hotel actually. And I probably was like scammed a little bit, but the, the ladies were really nice and they were like, oh, special discount. And you know, I'm sure that they overcharged the dumb American, but that's just fine. I got these little jade earrings. They said that this jade was from Taiwan. So I will be taking a little piece of Taiwan back with me. Not a super ton of stuff, I also don't have a lot of room for souvenirs. Honestly, I need to figure out how to make room in my suitcase for some of those items, but um, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I'm sure that I will find some more things in the other countries that we're visiting, but yeah, we have a dinner today once everybody gets back into town. And then I think this evening we're gonna, we're gonna go to the night market. So stay tuned for that. Oh, and the outfit that I'm wearing is just an Abercrombie romper, green socks, yeah. I'm pretty, pretty simple. I just wore it with Air Force Ones today. Okay, bye. Hello, I am in the hotel elevator right now. We are headed to a night market. It's 11 p.m. This place closes at midnight, so let's go. While we're in Seoul for the next two days, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get very much content or do very much of anything other than the stuff that's on our work schedule. So I'll try to get a couple of cool things here and there, but I am dressed and ready for the day. I am about to head downstairs for our first couple of things that are on our schedule. But first I wanted to show you the view outside of this hotel because after like, seeing what I have so far of Seoul, which I mean, when we got here, it was nighttime and it was dark outside, but like, it's a beautiful country. Like this is gorgeous. I'm like staring out the window right now. So I'm gonna flip you around and you can see. This is the view outside the window. Like how incredible. I feel like everything just seems so brand new and there's some sort of trail stairs leading up there and I want to see if I can get away and explore that later because it's across the street but I must begin my day so I will talk to you guys later the end of the day in Korea. I was not able to get very much content earlier, but I must show you this. This is like the first time I've ever actually ordered room service. Like the presentation is immaculate. Let me, let me show you. First of all, it's this like 
actual cart, they had the food in this like warming thing. And then I ordered Japanese curry. So there's the curry. It's shrimp in it as well. There's fruit and then there's the rice. So obviously I need to combine the two. But look how nice that looks. Oh, I'm so excited. 